Hey, alumni friends, it's Troy, the alumni guy, and we're back for part two with Mr. Chris Bees, and he's got some fun memories to share with us today. Uh, you and I were talking off camera, Chris, a little bit about uh, some favorite memories you, you had of a particular faculty member and a class. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, you know, one of my favorite classes was current, environment, current environmental issues, which you had recommended when I was at NNCC, and I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, I kind of consider myself an environmentalist and didn't know a whole lot about those things, but Rob Bursick was a phenomenal instructor, and the class was awesome. I can remember the classroom we were in had an actual chalkboard where everything else at school, I think, was whiteboards and markers, but this is a chalkboard. And he, he wrote almost everything he said down on the chalkboard, but he could write and erase at the same time. I'm like, no way I could have hard enough time just writing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it was a great, great class. Um, really enjoyed that class. And uh, that instructor was phenomenal. Yeah, and you, you shared that uh, some interesting facts about the class that were kind of intrigued you. Yes. Uh, you know, one thing he said was a gallon of gasoline put into a piece of machinery did the equivalent of what it would take a man 40 hours to do. And I thought about that. And I'm like, you know, I'm pretty sure you're right because it, the technology just makes things so much more efficient. But that just, that statistic just blew me away. And there was a lot of other things too. Uh, you know, he talked about um, there was one book we had to read about peak oil in which we would have actually already reached our radio if it wasn't for fracking. And without fracking in the United States, we would have run out of natural gas like nine years from when that class was, st I was in that class. Wow. Uh, but fracking has opened up so many things. But the problem with it is, is it's, they had to bypass the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act to be able to frack. So we're compromised in our environment so that we can have 70 degree houses and air conditioning and, you know, all these comforts. Uh, so it, it was phenomenal class. Very much enjoyed it. And of course, we unfortunately lost uh, Professor Bursick a few years ago, uh, a beloved figure on the campus, yes. to yeah. be sure. Uh, I had the pleasure of, of working with him as well, and, and I think you might have even been a part of that. I am reminded of a service learning project that we did with him, and Rob had a greenhouse uh, right. in Wisconsin, and we planted uh, a huge planting of his plants uh, for a local um, kind of a beautification project in Brooklyn Park. Right. Yeah, uh, such an, an incredible man, generous heart, yes. um, uh, gave his life to students for sure. Oh yeah. Um, yep. So dedicated to the teaching craft and profession. And you had shared um, another couple of uh, just funny memories of being in that class with Rob. He was quite a jokester. Uh, yes, he was. Yeah, he really was. Uh, and uh, actually, Rob and I were, were the same age. And, oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> he, he would, he'd be telling these jokes that were kind of more Rob and I. And there was actually another student in class that was close to our ages. And Rob's telling, making these references to certain things. And myself and this other student are laughing us, our heads off. Rob's keeping a straight face, of course. And none of the, the younger students understand, know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was it was really enjoyable. And I I talked to him after class. I said I appreciate the jokes in class. He goes, well, thanks for laughing. He said the, the younger students have no idea what I'm talking about, and they just kind of I just get the glossy eyed look. So it made the class really a lot of fun. Yeah, he was a dedicated instructor and yes. loved loved students, loved his craft, loved his profession. Mm -hmm. Funny guy, made uh, classes engaging. Uh, I always heard just the highest, highest praise yeah, for him as an instructor. So I wasn't surprised at all that you selected Rob uh, as, as your choice. And uh, yeah, I have incredible memories of him as well. So to our audience uh, on alumni, uh, the Facebook page, uh, the alumni of NHCC group, 
Who uh, was your favorite professor? Share a favorite memory with us, maybe a favorite class you had. We would love to hear and, and travel down memory lane. Again, my thanks to Chris Bees for chiming in here again. Uh, be uh, ready to see more of Chris and I. Chris and I uh, go way back and he's got some uh, great memories of North Hennepin. So there'll be future interviews on the NHCC alumni coffee break. For now, uh, thank you, Chris. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see all of you here again real soon on NHCC's alumni coffee break. Great, thanks, Troy.